executive edge. There are five major global markets that have tumbled into or are very near bear markets. China's Shenzhen is down 25% from its 52-week high. Argentina down 23%. China's Shanghai Composite down nearly 22%. Turkey down 21%. Russia very close to a bear market, down 18.8% from its 52-week high. So this is really interesting. As the global markets are suffering, as you can see, crypto is starting to hit new lows. We haven't seen cryptocurrency uh, go below the 200 billion market cap in a long time. I think the last time it happened was in mid-December, guys, mid-December. Um, so, yeah, it's very, very unfortunate to see this happen. Um, but like I said, this is a trend that might continue. Uh, you should be watching Trump's trade war because right now <laughs> it looks like he's winning considering everyone else is suffering and the U.S. market actually looks like a good bet right now, you know, being in U.S. equities and being in U.S. stocks. Um, but this could all be a facade or uh, if you've watched Wolf of Wall Street, a Fugazi. Um, this trend could flip. And when this trend flips, I can see crypto rebounding and uh, the U.S. dollar and U.S. equities being much weaker and possibly the global markets recovering. But, you know, watch Trump. He, he, he holds the cards and let's see what he's going to continue to do. Um, but I think that if you're considering crypto investments, uh, I would be very, very worried right now. Um, you can obviously buy in. These are all-time lows, great prices. But we might see a continuing trend of crypto going down until uh, these trends start to reverse. And that could be closer to the end of this year or maybe next year. But watch the market, see what happens. Let me know what you guys think, and I will talk to you soon.